Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the sleepy, beautiful town of Ajaltun in the mountains of Lebanon. It is Sunday today. Sunday is the best day to be in Lebanon because it's a day when family gathers. People still take the time to hang out with family, to hang out with friends, and to have a huge Sunday lunch feast. And so today I am very privileged to be hanging out with my friend Camel and his parents and his mom Fifi is gonna cook for us. Everything from scratch, home-cooked Lebanese family meal for Sunday lunch. We're in Ajaltun. Exactly. Ajaltun and we just arrived. This is the day before. This is Saturday. The big meal is on Sunday, but the story begins the day before because it's such a big meal in Lebanese culture. Like you the family gathers, it's a huge feast. Yeah. Mark requested stuffed cabbages for uh, for for lunch tomorrow. Yes. That's not a surprise, but haven't had that yet. And uh, stuffed intestines also, stuffed intestines, that's not yes. a surprise. Everything else is a surprise. Oh man, it already smells good in the kitchen the day before. Thank you. Oh, Mike, it's already splashing in the pool. <laughs> we just arrived like a minute ago. Fifi dished me a bowl of the rice pudding to sample. Coming out on the veranda to try it. And Micah's already splashing in the pool? Yes, he couldn't wait. Fifi prepared for Micah a little, a little pool in the sun, but this is a beautiful property. We have a view. Uh, they have a garden below. Mm, still really hot. Mm. You really taste the fresh milk. The rice almost kind of like melts into it, and then it is pudding. Not too sweet too, it's really good. Oh. Micah, you like it? Yeah. Oh, Micah, I can see your butt. I could not believe it. Mmm, it is still the day before, it's Saturday, but we are going to a dinner at a, is it like a farm? It's a farmhouse run by farmhouse. a nice family. And the place's name is uh, Jana Farmhouse. Jana Farmhouse, okay. Yeah. We're just pulling up to Jana Biofarm. He plants all his own vegetables. As Camel said, it's like a little oasis. Oh, yeah. Michael, look at the chickens and ducks. It's family run. It's almost like a little zoo that they have on animals. There's guinea fowl, there's these amazing hairy chickens. Even their feet are hairy. That's incredible. It almost looks like a, they're like woolly. Unique. What is that? Oh, it's a peacock. I was just reading up about the hairy chickens and they're actually called silky chickens, originally from China. We're just walking through the garden section now, the different fresh vegetables. There's cabbage, there's lettuce. These are, oh, these are string beans. And then they're still planting this. Uh, Michelle said that it's good to plant right now. This is the best time in the evening. Yeah, their, their vegetables just look so healthy, so green, so vibrant. I bet they taste that way too. This is the ultimate garden to table right where we can see this is why you want to come to the farm to eat this fresh plate of vegetables this is everything fresh everything from the farm it's so good how about a little radish mm. i love it <laughs> mm -hmm. i haven't had a radish in years actually a little bit spicy mm. yeah have you had a radish like horseradish. Oh yeah. Oh. That's good. I'm going to take another five out. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, nice. oh yes. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Zahten. 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 The presentation, the, the local ingredients, the fresh ingredients. Chef Omar is he's very cool as well. That fatouche looks amazing and you eat it with some of the cheese. It's just perfect with all the vegetables from the garden. The pomegranate molasses in there comes in nicely. Does it need to eat with bread or can you eat it with? Yeah, but with bread. Uh, we got a plate of the kafta, raw kafta. Uh, you can see that parsley. So for kafta, you have to have parsley in there. There's other spices, there's onions, I'm sure. And this one is all made by hand. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. The spices in there, the mint and the, the parsley. Emma, what is that? 
I'm undressing the it's uh, spinal cord and it's my favorite. Nice. I love it. Lemon juice and garlic. Fresh garlic, fresh mint. Oh and that's all garlic. Whatever makes you go first. <laughs> yes. Oh. I'm indulging myself. It looks like pasta almost. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, they're just like butter. For some reason, if you think about spinal cord, you think it's gonna be like bony and, but it's like the inside of the spinal cord really, right? These beautiful tomatoes that have been sitting on the table since the beginning of the meal. And just a simple preparation. There might be, I don't even know if there's olive oil, but a lot of sumac and then the garlic, Lebanese garlic sauce. That's one of those things that's just so simple and so delicious because it relies on the natural tomatoes, the garlic, the acidity, sourness from the sumac. Mm. This one is a mixture of organs. The sauce looks amazing. They can definitely, there's spleen in there, there's heart in there, a nut, a, just a whole mix of organs. Mm. It's like a sour, chili, tomatoey, delicious sauce and then the different textures of the organs the chewy bits the the gummy bits this is really like all the best things in one meal sujuk which is just an amazing spice sausage in tomato sauce oh yeah it's dripping mm, i'm in love with sujuk oh that sujuk is amazing mm. that one's really good no yeah. actually that one looks uh okay okay Another dish we have is the grilled halloumi cheese sprinkled doused in honey. Oh, I don't think I've ever had halloumi in honey. Oh, it's so, it's so right. Because the salty cheese, the sweetness of the honey, but not overly sweet. Mmm. That is delicious. High five for the halloumi and honey. Yeah. Perfect. Everything is amazing. Such good food. <laughs> oh, you thank you, Phoebe. You're welcome. And I thought it was for her, but then she said it's for, for me. <laughs> I think she, for the digestion, for all the food we've been eating. The lemons in Lebanon are just the best. Mm. Must wake up to coffee and cardamom. Ah. So among many things that Fifi is making for lunch today, uh, many of the things are gonna be stuffed, stuffed with rice, stuffed with meat. Uh, she's getting prepared on some of the little zucchinis and eggplants, which she's gonna hollow out, stuff with meat, I believe, and then she said she's gonna put them into a yogurt sauce. But one is with meat, so we do not take too much. Ah, okay. Yeah, just like that. Perfectly hollowed out little zucchinis, perfect for stuffing them with with meat and pine nuts. One of the main dishes that she's making is the stuffed intestines, lamb intestines. Uh, but Fifi got started on that yesterday because it's such a long process. She had to really clean them out, clean them multiple, multiple, multiple times. Then they are stuffed with a combination of rice and minced meat and onions, I think, and some other spices. Then I placed the wine. Oh. So the intestines are the base of the pan at the bottom of the pan, kind of wrinkly and curly, curled at the bottom of the pan, and now she's adding in the stuffed grape leaves, which she also stuffed yesterday with a combination of rice and minced meat. Now I put some salt. Okay. I use the sea salt. And I put the lemon juice. Mm. The olive oil. I use the olive oil always. We need to cover and about one centimeter higher than okay. the food. Well, because the rice has to cook also. Exactly. Okay. I will shower quickly and join you guys. Okay. Like that. This one to keep the plate down. Oh, okay. Three hours. Yeah. Okay. Because we'll put it now on or when slow... it will boil, we'll put it on slow fire. Okay. We'll, and leave it. 
I put the rice inside, then I did a surgery for it. <laughs> Look, <laughs> to save nice the chicken. It's a plastic <laughs> surgery. I will boil it, but first I will fry it just a little to keep the spices on it. She sewed it up, she wrapped it up, she's still wrapping it up, then she's gonna pan fry it, boil it, and then bake it. It can't fly away. No, never. Then she puts it in a pot with water, a few spices, some bay leaves, some cardamom, some uh, cloves. That's gonna boil and then cook it, melting the rice on the inside, and then it's gonna go in the oven after that. Fifi's getting ready to make one more dish. Well, there's, there's even dishes I don't even know about, even though I'm in the kitchen. There's so many things going on. It's like probably about an hour and a half before lunch. Uh, she is gonna make cabbage rolls, and this is something I requested because cabbage rolls, they're, it's something that's uh, known in Lebanese food, but it's so hard to find in restaurants, and so I, I, I gave the request to Fifi. <laughs> Well, now let's go to I... action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Olive okay. oil, salt, and of course the meat with the rice. Minced, minced lamb. And cumin. I think it's uh, the mushroom in the uh, Yeah. Beef. Yeah. Beef. Yeah. It's meat. beef. The filling is a mixture of minced beef, rice, cumin, olive oil and then she rolls them up in the, the leaves of cabbage, which have been pre-blanched, and then sets them neatly into the pot with the lamb cutlets, the lamb chops, uh, and then it's all gonna be cooked together, boiled together. A little bit. So you just add a bit of garlic? Probably a whole head of garlic, and then a sprinkle of pomegranate molasses and a sprinkle of dried mint, and then filled the pot with water until it reaches the, the top and that's going directly onto the stove right now. And again, that has to cook for a while because it's uh, raw, uncooked rice within those cabbage rolls, so the rice has to cook uh, to expand. And you wanna push it down too, so it's already like warm. Yeah. Squish them down so that when the rice expands, they don't unravel. It's a winning combination. This is why you need six burners in Lebanon. All six of them fully in use, bubbling away. Because a lot of dishes, home cooked dishes, are really slow cooked, really take a long time to, you gotta boil them for hours. And my special kamune. Oh, so oh, which one is the kamune? This one. This one, ah, okay. the kamune with burger roll. Uh, the lamp, which is very soft. And this is the liver. Liver fat. Wow. Leave it a little bit. It's hot. Wow. Ooh, that smells so good. It's so juicy. It's so fragrant. I can't wait to try both things, but especially the stuffed intestines. Oh. Wait, Cam, do you eat like this every Sunday? I, I, I want to say yes. <laughs> But almost, almost. Like normally you might have one or two main dishes, like kings of the dishes, center plates, and a lot of sides. But we are having like five main centerpiece dishes, and still all the sides. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. This is an amazing, that's, that's a one of the most beautiful meals I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, first bite, we're beginning with the, the lentil soup. There's Swiss chard in here, there's onions, there's... And lentils. And lentils. Yeah. And garlic. Mm. Also, I'll add just yes, oh, thank you. Of lemon juice. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's so like refreshing, so good. It has that le sour lemon juice taste to it. That Swiss chard just melts. You grab one. They're made to be held with your fingers. 
You have that, they have that same... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Kibbe from the southern region. Southern central region of... Southern central region. Region of Lebanon. Lebanon. It's like meat brass knuckles. Uh, from the, the shop. Yeah. That's uh, the olive oil that we love. And, uh, yeah. and then just eat it like this. Just right. dip it a bit more yeah, when you're making oil. Go for it. The technical name is Fraki. Whenever it goes south, okay. south of Lebanon, that's Fraki with the special spices. Oh, the spices are amazing. Mm. And that's kind of a high ratio of the bulgar wheat, so you really taste the wheat in there too. Exactly. The crunch of the wheat. This is a nice collection. That's the classic kibbe. And then we add some of this on the side, in case you decide to dip it in it. And then the filet. Yeah. I'm gonna just take my first bite of the filet, dip it into a little bit of that spice mixture. Mm. Yeah. It's tender, that's like zero fat, that's just pure, pure meat, pure freshness. The fresh liver, oh, it has this crunch to it. All of those raw meats, all different textures, all different flavors. You almost don't even realize that it's raw because it's so fresh, it's so pure. We've tried a few of the, the cold appetizer dishes, side dishes, but we cannot resist. It's like, it's hot, it's fresh, it's wiggly and tangly and curly right in front of us. We have to begin. It's almost calling my name. Yes, I, I can hear it. It's time. <laughs> it's time to try those intestines, stuffed intestines. This is the, and, he, and even Camel was telling me, when his brothers come back home, or when he's abroad and then comes back home, this is one of the main dishes that you request exactly. Fifi to make. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're going for the same one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Tear off a piece. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, they're so good. These are lamb intestines, right? Mm. Mm, yeah, it's true. And they're just so soft. Like they're not they're not chewy at all. They cooked for so long they became one with the rice, right? Yeah. So like one bite. Kind of caramelized intestines with rice. Dip it in the juice. Oh, and that's just like liquid meat down there. You can see it. It's like it looks like melted butter. Oh, rehydrate. <laughs> It is so good. Oh, I'm going for that one in the juice. Exactly. Mm. It just melts like the rice has turned to pudding within that leaf. Oh, oh nice. And then. And then. I'm going to add a little chili to my next bite of intestines and. Rather than cut it, I'm just gonna eat the whole, the whole snake. Oh, and I add a little bit of chili sauce to it too. Oh, it's incredible. With that chili sauce, with that like crunchy melted rice. Another combination is the stuffed vine leaves or intestines with yogurt. Mm. Just the stuffed white vine leaves are just too good. I mean, you could eat them with anything and they'd be good. This is the dish that I saw Fifi making with the, the, the mini or the baby chickpeas with onions. Oh yeah, we sweated down the onions, tomatoes, and eggplant in there. A lot of olive oil and a lot of the mint. The mint, right? Like Throw it on a cover one bite and For one bite. Up. Oh, so much good olive oil too. So soft, like it just disintegrates in your mouth. Caramelized. So much garlic, and the mint in there too. Mm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> wow, I love it. So then before we actually, actually try the zucchinis that are stuffed with minced meat in the yogurt sauce, we're gonna try the insides, the hollowed out insides of them, which then Fifi kind of like sauteed down. I see, I'm definitely sure there's a lot of garlic in there, <laughs> mint as well, and um, olive oil for sure. Mmm. Oh. Oh, wow. Mmm. You won't expect so many flavors, right? That's a right? burst of flavor. So much garlic in there and lemon juice, too. That dried mint, I think, is what also makes a huge difference. Stuffed zucchinis, cooked in a yogurt stew, minced beef. 
You finish those and Thank then you. we will refill your plate. And then cook them in a gravy sauce made from yogurt. And then one of my favorite moves is when she, at the end she'd fried up some coriander and some garlic in some butter and then poured that on top, mixed it in so you can, it's so aromatic. It smells so good. They've been cooking for so long. It's so delicate. I'm sure those zucchinis are just gonna fall apart, like dissolve in our mouths. Mm. Comfort food. Oh wow. You don't even need to chew. That zucchini literally just like dissolves in your mouth with the minced meat, with that like light fragrant yogurt sauce. You can taste the coriander and the garlic in there too. Mm. That's juicy like watermelon. It's so juicy. Oh, that's uh, oh yeah, that's fun. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, we're moving on to the stuffed chicken now, stuffed with rice and the spices. Uh, then Fifi, she pan fried it first to sear those spices on the chicken, then, then boiled it in some herbs and spices, and then baked it to get that finishing caramelized skin roasted touch. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah, you taste cinnamon, the nutmeg. For me, the nutmeg is like the most pronounced spice in there. It's so gooey and you taste that like broth, the chicken broth fat, slowly cooked. This is a chicken rice combo with yogurt. Yeah, the chicken is perfect. Camel's father made a, from the juice of the chicken, that the chicken broth, he makes this sauce, kind of like a liquidy sauce with lemon, with some other spices in there. Garlic. Mm. Yeah. I like that version better than the yogurt. Yeah. The lemon juice freshness, the garlickiness is amazing. We typically often eat the fatouche kind of at the beginning of the meal, right? But it doesn't really matter. No. You and the the, the yeah. tes intestines just called our names too <laughs> too quickly. We didn't make it to the fatouche at first, but now we're coming back for the fatouche. And this is a special type of fatouche because Camel added some of the makdus to it. Exactly. Which people love makdus to it. It's like it, a, it's a nice tangy acidic flavor. I would. I would call it the king of preserved. Yeah. It's one of the kings of preserved foods because it's stuffed with peppers, walnuts, and garlic. And garlic. And rich olive oil. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That makdouche takes you to the next level. There mm. might be some splatters on the floor. Forgive That's us. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, nicely done. That's Straight horrible. down. Oh, that was oh, hot. Sorry. It's okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wasn't expected. The juice is so hot. And then we wait a little bit for everything to drop. And then slowly. Oh. Oh. It smells so good. Those those lamb chops on top, they're just caramelized on the bottom. You smell that mint, you smell the oils. That just looks so juicy, so oh, the down below. Exactly. The down under. <laughs> We have made it to the end. This is the final dish of the Lebanese ultimate Lebanese Sunday Sunday family meal Fifi feast. <laughs> this is the final dish, the cabbage rolls that we rolled together. You can smell the lamb, you can smell the mint, you can smell the garlic, and there's also some of the pomegranate molasses that she drizzled in there. I'm not even gonna use a knife. No. <laughs> oh, look at that. I yeah, with a spoon. Yes. And a whole, doing a whole roll with that. I'm doing half. You can. It's a hot one. I didn't want to disrespect the cabbage roll, so I, I'm gonna leave it whole, and you take it as a Cheers. one biter. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> you can't but feel. The dried mint yeah, lifting yeah. up the cabbage. The dried mint. It's a total different texture and feel than the grape leaves. Fifi does it again. <laughs> <laughs> Fifi strikes back. Fifi strikes again. <laughs> Sweet. Oh. Camel's other secret, dipping it into a thick, like a thick pomegranate molasses, give it another edge of flavor. Mm. Oh, wow. When more like a burst of sourness. Like a hint of sweetness, but it's mostly sour. <laughs> oh. 
falls off the bone. Oh. This is the stage when you just your breathing gets a little heavier and you start strategic bites. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is unbelievable though. Oh. We need to sit on the swing for a little while. Oh! Oh my god. Mr. Taha, he's making his specialty dessert, which is popular in his home region, his hometown, which is Saida. What is it called? Kataif. 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 Okay. Oh, look at that cheese. Wow. I can hardly even move, but Mr. Taha's specialty dessert. And I had no clue there was cheese in the middle until he sliced it open. He pulled it up and like cheese just just oozed from it. Uh, but this is a special dessert and it's called Atayaf. Atayaf. Oh, some syrup and some served with some orange blossom jam. Look at how much cheese is in there. Oh, that's really crunchy too. You can't even, yeah, you can't actually even put your fork through it. You need a knife. You know, I think it's not even sweet apart from that syrup that's poured on top, right? Like an actual batter, mound of melted cheese in the center. Oh. So, so the bread, the bread on itself is not sweet. It's not sweet. All garden. And that was a great dessert, but it has almost put me to my head. <laughs> All I can have is tea right now. And this is wonderful tea with lemongrass. This is all I want right now. The weather is still cool, except I'm I'm probably perspiring from the digestive sweats right now. <laughs> oh, thank you to Fifi for her amazing cooking. Camel, the entire Kaha family. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Well, it was a pleasure to have you, you for the meal. I have you always. <laughs> always, of course. Thank you. Okay, we have come to the end of this video and I cannot even express how unbelievable that Lebanese family meal, Fifi, Taha, Camel, entire Taha family meal on Sunday was. That was a spectacular meal. The Taha family, they've started this amazing project where they go around to villages around uh, Lebanon and collect and it's, they curate some of the best uh, ingredients from kish to olive oil to sumac to spices to different delicacies of the best products from around Lebanon, from small producers. And they have a shop, a boutique that they have in uh, Beirut. Called. They're doing an amazing job of curating the best ingredients of Lebanon. So check them out, especially if you're in Beirut, if you visit Beirut. And I wanna say a big thank you to USAID for funding my trip to Lebanon for getting us here. Uh, so big thank you. Finally, if you haven't seen all the videos in this entire trip to Lebanon, uh, we've traveled around Lebanon. It's been an amazing trip, so much food. So much incredible food and incredible people. I'll have all the videos uh, in a playlist with a link in the description box that you can click on and watch the entire playlist, all the videos. Big thank you for watching this video. I wanna say a huge thank you. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe. And you can also click the little bell icon so that you'll get notified immediately as I publish another video, the next video that you don't wanna miss. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Lebanon in the mountains of Lebanon. See you on the next video.